Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Eyes. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. We're pursuing Vorlis. And, uh, I had a relook at the chapter list, and... Yeah, we're super close to the end of the game. I <laughs> didn't even realize that. That's a lot of bats. I uh, feel like I'm back in Mount Moon all over again. Just as I thought, it's full of monsters. We must stop the resurrection of the Goddess of Destruction at all costs. Let's go. Let nothing stop us. Dun dun dun! So I know that Spadunky is not going to be able to get much of a range here. So we'll just have him lay down some heavenly law. Sound good? Sound good. I forget which go to heaven this was. I probably should have cast the one that, um, the white magic one. Because I feel like that would have, I don't know. I still have, I'm near the end of the game, and I still have absolutely no damn clue uh, whether or not there's some sort of elemental effects in this game as well. It makes sense. They have like five different elemental jewel types. So why wouldn't they? Laziness, probably. Laziness is probably why wouldn't they. So how much damage did that do in comparison? So what the hell are these? They just remind me of... Oh, they're the apple bats. So, uh, these are actually the best kind of the bat one. The stage bats. Stage 5 bats, rather. Let's get some actual experience from these guys, though. I know that I just laid down the heavenly glory upon them, but... I mean... Never miss a chance for a decent amount of experience points. Jesus. They were either very, very weak, or I completely misjudged how much attack power that punk guy has. Um, I should be able to hit that apple bat through the wall, right? Yeah. Take this! Damn! I actually didn't expect that to do as much damage as it did, but there you go. Uh, it also just feels weird using bow and arrow. I, you guys know me. I'm very much a freaking dual hander sort of guy, you know? Either a sword and board or big ass axe or big ass sword. Not that there's anything wrong with bow and arrow. I just prefer something a little bit more personal. Oh, that guy really wants that at my face. <laughs> for four whole damage. Alright, so I did 108 to that one. I'm um, just trying to see which one's the most injured. So I could... Yeah, I'll attack the one that's over here. That should kill him. Assuming, that, yep, 108 exactly. Got him. Stop that. Level up! Yay! And then we'll move. This way Spadunkus can take out this other apple bat. Move in. Chop him in half. I didn't even need to use uh, that super... That one attack, did I? I mean, it's really good for Luke to gain the additional experience points for doing so, but man... Really didn't need to. Seeing as both, both these other two can just kind of lay waste to the rest of the battlefield. Him with his, what, 325? 356 damage that he does. And with Spadunkus able to just kind of destroy anything in his path, actually. Ooh. I actually wonder, can I have... Now I'm thinking. Thinking is a dangerous pastime for me. So if I move him here, should be within range of hitting this guy. Is that enough to increase the damage? Yes. Awesome. I love it when things come to work and fruition and all that fun stuff. Um, move him here. Now I move him here. 
Because if I move him any further up, then he's just going to cover up. Oh god, that's right, he learned a butt ton more spells too. Now, save him. Gotta save him. Gonna save him. If I got any other ones, yeah, let's use a needle sword. It'll do piddly damage, but... Yeah. At least he'll get a little bit of experience. <laughs> Just the littlest bit. Tenth of a freaking level. But mostly I just wanted him to be able to uh, be within range to be taken out here. Still, the pumpkin drop thing is the only thing that I'm against when it comes to the pumpkin head guy. Big head, sorry. Ah, balls. Okay. Jewels. Jewel. Jewel. Genie mask? What? That's not a jewel. Gonna make me look at genie masks? Probably an increase in MP or MP or magic attack. If I had to fathom a guess. Either that or I'll change their color scheme to blue and they'll start singing musical numbers. I would hope for the latter. So genie masks. Here it is. Magic defense, magic attack. Has a huge boost in magic attack. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And there's two of them. Mmm. Punk guy. I know you liked being the uh big balls attack guy, but I mean that's a sickening magic attack number. Let's give that a shot. Ground floor. That's just sickening. Holy crap. 40? And what the, why the hell do apple bats drop them? What are those and why don't I have one? Well, those are something like golems, aren't they? I forget their names. There's a lot of monsters with a lot of weird names in this. Gotsy. That is one letter off from a very terrible thing. Alright. Uh, crap, which one of these? I know that I had... Emits a number of fire dragons from under the feet. Sold. You know, my evil campaign had a spell much like that. We were epic level and everything, so everyone was just like, eh, you know what? Let's get all the all the high level spells. And lo, they did. And, uh, not a single thing was able to do a damn thing about it. Did I use Gosperado? I'm gonna try Gosperado. I did use Gosperado, damn it. I was thinking I didn't use it, but I don't remember the animation to it. Oh well. Worst case scenario, nothing dies and I can just go around getting the experience from it. Although I could use a second Gosperado and... Okay, yeah. Looks like I'm going to be going around the place and just getting some easy XP's. Easy XBeasy. Let's see. I'll save that one for you, seeing as I already can't reach it. So I'll shoot this one. Pew! Ah. Huh. That's right, their defense was really freaking high. How's their attack? I really didn't see that. I was more focused on their magic attack and whatnot, so... Why are those guys not moving? Okay, why'd that guy move and not attack? These guys are confusing. So I'd... Had... Hit that guy. 
And we'll step over here. Give him a good tap on the back of the skull. Just like that. Maybe they also have... Uh, anytime I see some sort of resistances, like, oh, hey, I did next to no damage. Then I start thinking to myself, okay, maybe they had some sort of resistance based around the weapons. Kind of like zombies and skeletons usually have in Dungeons & Dragons games. Usually that's not the case, though, and I just... It's just RNG. Just pure RNG. That said, it also would have taken us a far longer time to kill these things had I not taken uh, the idea of using two mass wipeout spells. That or it could have just had Spadonkus run through them. Each individual ones with a sword would have been just as fast, actually. Maybe faster. Because what? How, how much? Uh, how much? 312? Let's, let's check this out. 312 versus 253. Okay, it would have taken like double as long, but eh, still. One of those things where you're like, gah. The damage output is sickening. Or maybe it's just that, um, in general, the monsters are, the puppets are far stronger than Luke will ever be. Which is a little saddening. Seeing as, you know, humans have the infinite potential and these are but magical puppets. This is like the one game that I can think of that doesn't expand upon the human potential of things. No, it's all, oh, magical puppets. And where it's like, Okay, magic puppets. It's the name of the game. No, actually it's not. Eternal Eyes is the name of the game. First floor. No change in music yet, so no boss. Hey, more Reapers. Oh wait, no, they're not gonna be. Uh, they're either Reapers or Jokers. That's not a mummy, is it? No, nope, that's a mummy. So, these are the stage 5 guys. Hey, yeah, stage 5 guys. Oh, that's a rich. Sure, okay. And what are these? These are the bone knights or boneheads or something like that? Yep, bone knights. So, all of these guys are undead. I wonder... Whether or not I got a good... Did I try out Gabrasian? Howl from... Yeah, that's the one that ended up being a bunch of pillars. Let's do Excalibur. Why not? <clears throat> Haven't seen us read from a book for a while. Just... The mix-up of the animations... Is still hilarious to me. I don't exactly know why. Like the giant sword from the sky... And as a kid... I didn't know a damn thing about mythologies and whatnot. I just kind of took it at face value. It's like, oh yeah, the Excalibur, giant ass book. Except I was like a teenager and a bit of a mama's boy at that, so I didn't swear that much. Lay, lay down the going to heaven. Why not? <clears throat> I just don't want to die. And that's one of my primary fears when it comes to these later levels at this point. It's like, all of my characters are getting uh, 80 to 100 damage, so if one of them gets swarmed, that character dies. Which makes me realize that I had not saved before entering this fight. I'm just kind of hoping that these guys all die. Okay, the ones I was primarily worried about did, so... Four. Do I have a range of four? Yes. Get over here. Or rather, get, get back into your grave. <clears throat> Not that much damage. But still, two dead. The rest of them are going to charge at us. Uh, a little bit of spell casting, I guess.
Okay. <laughs> I was sitting here going like, eh, don't hurt me. So depending... Ugh, there's a lot of Bone Knights though. I almost kind of want to just lay down another uh, magically based death upon them, but I think I'll have a little divide and conquer tactics. I keep on checking these because I keep on expecting me to have some sort of spell that's not going to freaking try to lay down all the deaths. Just a little death. Have a little death. Dead. Who knows? Maybe the skeletons will be preoccupied getting that treasure chest. Don't know why they'd want a treasure chest. To piss me off, mostly. In fact, to entirely piss me off. Bastards. Take this, mummy. Dead. See, he doesn't even need the exasperatingly high attack power, or high attack power he had before. He murders those things just one HP more than their max health. It's disgusting. Big head, punk head, punk guy, whatever I named you, you are disgusting. Like a pumpkin that's been left out after Halloween a couple of months because the owner forgot about it. That's relatable, right? Really? You're gonna stay in the back there, cast your spells? Like a coward? A coward that only does 9 damage? Why was I worried about these guys? I could've sworn it was because, oh he... They hurts. Is that a little too out of range? Yes. But I can punch this guy from a distance with my arrow because that's how punching works <laughs> uh god I sound like an idiot sometimes don't I ah well so the only sadness is that I don't think Spadunkus can reach him unless he were able to cast magic but she did level up so he could just cast another Mazats and kill the kill the thing yeah for some reason, I thought that that skeleton had a little bit more HP. More HP than he was going to survive from that, I mean. Don't know why I did. You're within range, you are. Are you gonna die? I think so. Dead. Overkill. Oh man, imagine if there was experience bonus for overkilling in this. Ugh. I got something called the Meteor Breaker. I'm going to hope that that's something that Lucas, that Luke rather, can wear. Also ninja suits. Also more magical puppets. Magical puppets that I'll probably never actually use. Akai, Micah, whatever. So is that Meteor Breaker? Something you yes. Oh, it's a sword, ain't it? Yep, that's a sword. Also, I got a ninja suit. Uh, seems that the ninja suit is a thing worn by these guys. Oh my god, I got so much equipment that I'm just never going to use. Oh! That has a significant hit to my attack, but oh, that movement speed. Hmm. Is it is the Kamikaze boots better? I'm gonna go with the ninja suit. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the ninja suit. Uh, he doesn't need the boost. I'm gonna say it before I go into the, the, this uh, next one. I mean, I could wear both the kamikaze boots and a ninja suit, and that would allow me to move him uh, five spaces. But even then, he's still walking, which is a significant amount of eh, not that useful compared to 
someone that can fly, as it were. So it's not exactly something I want to use on a walking unit. Floating, sure. Walking, meh. The only way it would be better is if uh, it could be equipped on Luke. Charge! Level 77. Level 68. This is fair. Eh. Didn't kill him. But it did a good chunk of damage. So, you know how this is gonna go. Um, actually. Spadunkus, you have a button of attacks. We already tried Gelhammer. Causes a number of high heat explosions. A large number of damage results. Let's try this shit out. A lot of these seem to be very world-ending class kind of spells here. Just, um... Just, yeah. Alright, we'll move you up. Uh... I'm pretty sure there's something that I hadn't had you cast yet. There's got to be something you haven't cast. Tormento! No. Grace. Oh yeah, I hadn't tried Wade Burst, had I? No, I did. Did I? Metiakai. That one I know I haven't tried. At least don't, I don't remember the name Metiakai. I don't know, it seems like it would have done a lot more damage were if the giant rocks were to remain that. Giant rocks. <laughs> eh. Lone survivor. And lone survivor dies. But hey, I get his experience points. Yeah. That's enough for a level. All right, what do we get this time? Any ninja suits? Jewels. Jewels. Jewels, I'll probably just pump Liger suit. Okay. Not expecting a Liger suit. Another Meteor Breaker. If I could two-hand weapons, or if I could, like, dual-wield weapons, ooh. That'd be sickening. Also, I don't know why you can't, like, give your... Puppets, the swords, and whatnot. I'm gonna take a stab and say, yep. Yeah, it's not better. Yeah, it's not. Mm, it's really not. I mean, that increased, um, that increased speed is nice, but it's not really what I'm looking for. So, where's the next one? Third floor. That'd be a total of five floors, right? Because it was basement, ground floor, first floor, third floor. Blah, 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 blah. I think that was it. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we're going on to the third floor. I just don't know how many more floors there are left in this place. Yeah. So thank you all for watching. Now I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.